Hello all, welcome to binaryhackers.com. In this voice shark training part 7, I am going to discuss about the status bar and how to solve the checksum error in Wireshark packet. I just opened the previous file in Wireshark. So this is the packet byte frame right here. If you want to hide this packet byte frame, go to the view and click on the packet byte. So it will hide that packet byte pane. So if you want to come back, just click, it will come again. The same procedure for your status bar. Status bar is right here, just click, uncheck, so the status bar is gone. Do the view, click and it will come back the status bar. So right here if I choose this packet is 336 number you can see right here the frame number is 336 and here it will show me the path of my capture one pcap file. So it pcap ng file this is the path this is the size of the file 672 kb and right here it will display the packets number total number of the packets 1291 and the display like a packet is 1291 so if i filter this packet like arp arp click on the apply now it showing that the total number of packets is 1291 and the dis display packet is number 2 you can also resize this column if you want okay let's clear this the information in the status bar is very handy suppose i am going to select this packet packet number 12 and if i highlight this tab ethernet 2 showing me that the information is 14 bytes suppose i expand this in source and destination mac address if i click the source mac address it's showing me that the mac address is 6 bytes okay so total there is a hexadecimal character two hexadecimal character is represent the one byte and theta total 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it represents the 6 bytes so 1 byte is equal to 8 bits 8 into 6 48 bits so it will represent the MAC address is 48 bits or 6 byte so it also show that information in the status bar in the left corner there are one icon called the expert info level I click that it will pop up on another window and it's regarding a warning notes charts detail and packet comment so in warning just expand if I click this 334 packet number it will directly jump that packet so I will discuss all this later the another tool right here it's called the capture comment so you can select your packet and write here comment and click OK. So it will apply that comment to that particular packet. Suppose let's select this TCP packet 337. In the internet protocol field, you can see that in the header checksum, it's showing me, showing me that the error. The error is 0000, 0, 0, 0 is incorrect should be B0BD and may be caused by the IP checksum offload. The problem is my network interface card solved that checksum error but Wireshark it's capture all that packet before the network interface card calculate that error and be solved. So how to solve this uh, check some error problem IP offload there are two method first one let me show you go to your network setting 
change adapter setting local area connection your network interface card go to the property configure advance and here you can see the ip version 4 checksum offload tcp checksum offload so you have to select that particular offload and click the disable and apply so it will solve that problem the another method is using a software method so go to your preferences go to the protocol expand your protocol now go to the ip version 4 right here and just uncheck this validate the ip version 4 checksum if possible so i uncheck this click on apply and you see that the all information is gone so it solved that checksum error and there are no highlighted warning in that packet so this is all for this part see you in the next video thanks for watching